Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Zach. And welcome back to our channel. Uh, we've been doing a lot of park videos lately. Yes. Yeah, because of birthdays and uh, other pin events and stuff like that. And we kind of realized, hey, we haven't shown you a pin haul video in a really long time. So let's rectify that right now. So here are all the pins that we have bought, save for one, for basically the past few months. Yeah. So let's start off uh, in, in order with that pin. So this is the Easter pin for 2019. Came out back in April. Yeah. Actually, uh, more importantly, it is the Easter pin from Walt Disney World because the, yes. the one in California has different eggs there. And this one has the better set of eggs, as we said in our... Uh, April pin video. Yeah. So, uh, and I, we may get some of these dates off here because it's been a while, but I believe the next one in our list here is the this vintage vinyl, the Lady and the Tramp vintage vinyl pin. This is part of that vintage vinyl collection that has the little record that comes out of it. It's a super cute little collection. I have everything in this collection except for the very first one, which is the Dumbo pin. The Dumbo one that yeah. inexplicably sold out super fast. <laughs> Yeah, and it's going for a whole lot of money right now individually. So I'm kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. Price with drops. That. Yeah. So that is the Lady and the Tramp pen, which I believe came out in April also, like near the end of April. So I think that is the next one. This is the Expedition Everest Magic of Honor pin, one mm -hmm. of the only Magic of Honor pins that has any sort of actual color on it outside of the ribbon. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not one of, it is the only Magic of Honor pin so, so far. far. Yeah, that has any kind of color on it, but yeah. That is a, a cool collection. You have been collecting all of those. I think it's right up over my head right there. Yes. See that collection. So you've been collecting those since the beginning. So uh, that kind of takes us into uh, the one pin that we're going to show you today that we didn't buy. We were actually on my birthday weekend, which was right at the beginning of April when we were at Disney. Uh, I ran into a manager uh, who came out from backstage and immediately my eyes went to bam to that Pluto pin on his lanyard. This is a save Pluto pin which came out uh, back in 2014 when Pluto lost its planethood status or was going to lose its, well, it, spoiler alert, it's no longer a planet. But at the it's time, a dwarf yeah, planet. This, was, this was created back at that time. So uh, I couldn't tell you any of the other pins he had on his lander. He may have had APs on there. I don't know. I just knew I had to have this pin. So yay. Thank you, random Disney manager. Pluto will always be a planet in my heart. Uh, and then I think order-wise, the next one would be that one. Yeah, go ahead. This is the 101 Dalmatians pop-up book. Mm -hmm. This was a surprise release that came out, uh, I want to say in May. May yeah, like the first part of April. Yeah, I don't first remember. part of May. It was like a, a surprise release. Show them the inside there. So this is the inside. It's got Pongo, Perdita, and all the others on name them without i don't not fair at all um and much like the beauty and the beast stage show at hollywood studios there's a very abbreviated version of the 101 dalmatian story oh. inside the book i'm going to read it to you now oh great story time kids once upon a time pongo and perdita were living happily with their 15 new puppies Roger and Anita. One day... Wait, 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 wait. There are 15 new puppies named Roger and Anita? No, because they use the proper comma usage, oh. which is the Oxford comma. There are 15 new puppies, comma, comma, Roger, comma, and Anita. Got it. One day, they were all unexpectedly visited by none other than Cruella de Vil. That's it. Show's over. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Although, it would have been a so much better movie if all the puppies were named Roger and Anita. And she's like, there is little Roger and Roger and Roger and Roger and Anita and then Roger and Roger and another Anita. Yeah. Kind of like George Foreman and his kids. That's right. Just name them all. Roger and Anita. All right. The next one in line here was the very first, uh, the, the 30th anniversary of Disney's Hollywood Studios that came out with this 30th anniversary pen on the opening day there, May 1st of 2019. Um, 
we didn't actually get it until a week later, so <laughs> that's why it's out of order here. But uh, this was the only one I liked. There was an annual pass holder pen that was still available that day, but I didn't care for that. I This limited release one with the date on it was the only of the three that they offered that I really liked. So I would have, fun fact, I was actually at Disney MGM Studios on opening day back in 1999. No, 1989. Yeah. No. Was it? Yes. Wow, that was a long time ago. Uh, yeah, I was actually there in 1989, opening day at 3 a.m. in the morning. I have VHS tape of us, uh, my friend and I that went. I, we videoed some of it. A, I don't know where that tape would be. B, I have no idea on what kind of device I would even play it on if I had it. Uh, and C, uh, it's probably no good. So it's probably all blurry. Uh, Our, kind of like yeah. all those uh, videos of those POV videos of Epcot attractions. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see. And then another one that I have over here, because your twos are from later, is uh, the Dapper Day pin. So when we went for Dapper Day, which uh, we had a video for that, you should go and totally check that out put the link right up here in that video we committed a lot of sins please don't do that yeah uh but uh dapper day and we got this lovely pen of mary poppins and the little penguins uh so it says fine and dandy on it this was a uh, dapper day pen so a very nice collection there all right the remaining four pens we got at pen trading night well on the day of pen trading night just this past week so we almost got you caught up so so uh we're going here so go ahead and go first with that one so this is a limited edition limited mm -hmm. this is a limited edition uh showing carl and ellie and their paradise falls money bucket mm -hmm. um the bucket is 3d and actually contains little uh sculpt little, little sculpted coins oh so cute yes uh the pin trading night was all about up's 10th anniversary so that was uh the pin we both got that pin so we have two of those uh the other pin that we got that day uh was it was the next vintage vinyl this was snow white and the seven dwarves uh so i picked that one up before we went to pin trading night which you know that if you saw that video you saw me pick this up so uh, the other thing that we picked up that day was the next magic of honor the haunted mansion mm. yes now i don't i know that the 50th anniversary of the haunted mansion is coming up but that is in disneyland so we don't we don't get a 50th our because our mansion. 50th haunted mansion coincides with the 50th anniversary of the magic kingdom yeah so although i'm hoping that some of those pins might make their way here. over here or we They're can try and enlist someone who is going to pin, do a pin pickup for we'll us we'll see although no right. we can't because you're limited to the number of pins you can buy We'll see. Anyway, uh, the uh, final two pins that we had are the pin trading night pins. I got the Lady and the Tramp pin, which is some, it is some anniversary of Lady and the Pin. <laughs> it is some anniversary of Lady and the Tramp this year. Uh, that's that's how they decide these, right? So like Lion King's anniversary was the last time, and uh, Princess and the Frog's anniversary. That's why we had those two. This time we had a Lady and the Tramp anniversary and Little Mermaid. A Little Mermaid anniversary. I don't know what anniversary because Little Mermaid came out in '87, which would make it 32, which is not a milestone anniversary. Are you sure about that? When did The Little Mermaid come out? November 17th, 1989. I stand corrected. 1989. So yes, yeah, the 30th anniversary of Little Mermaid. When did Lady and the Tramp come out? On June 22nd, 1955. Are you sure they go by like... Now I'm, now I'm wrong. So I'm wrong right here in this very video. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. So we just consulted with Vera, and uh, it turns out that The Little Mermaid is celebrating its 30th anniversary. With Vera? Well, it, we can't... We asked our... Amazon Echo. Amazon Echo a question, but we were told by one of our uh, viewers, Vera Charles, that anytime we say her name, his uh, Echo also responds. So we're trying not to... 
it doesn't matter. The point is, is that we asked Madam A. Madam A. And she said the Little Mermaid was uh, 30 years old and that Lady and the Tramp was 64. 64. So the, yeah. I was completely wrong about the anniversary, is it? but it's still it's, it's Lady and the Tramp. And so that's, that's awesome. So. And it doesn't feature spaghetti. <laughs> this is true. So, and I know they're they're coming out with a, a live action Lady and the Tramp for the Disney Plus service. So, are they going to eat those poor dogs spaghetti? Yes, they're going to make those poor dogs eat spaghetti. So there you go. That's our pin haul video. You're all caught up on the pins that we got. We got a lot of traders, uh, you know, like little hidden Mickey pins and stuff like that. We're not going to show you all those because they come and go a lot yeah. off of our lanyards. But these are the pins that are sticking around in our collection for this point in time. So thank you guys for watching. If you like what we do on this channel, make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment, tell us what you like, what you don't like, what we can do better, and until next time. And if you want to follow us on the social, you always forget that part. Oh. If you want to follow us on the socials, just uh, the links are down below in the doobly-doo. I still don't think anyone calls them the socials. They should. That's my point. Stop hey, trying to make fetch happen. <laughs> hey, if you haven't seen that we went to the pin trading event and ran into Robin from Oh Hello Robin and Rod from Oh Hello Robin, uh, also the Disney sisters and Vixen's Disney. I, Vixen uh, Lost in Disney. Vixen Lost in Disney. I'm and Beth so Long. sorry. I'm so sorry, Vixen. I keep getting your channel name wrong. Um, and uh, Beth Long. If you haven't seen that, then definitely go and see that. And definitely go check out their channels. I think we just made a cameo on Oh Hello Robin, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so... You always, you always want to do that, but... See you real soon. Get out of here, you crazy kids.